Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of VIT Triple E Questions with Solution, we are going to be looking at some questions asked in previous years of VIT Triple E. Today we're going to be looking at some questions of the subject English asked in 2017. Here comes our first question. So the question is, you have to study the paragraph and answer the three questions that follow. Let's start reading the paragraph. At this stage of civilization, when many nations are brought into close and vital contact for good and evil, it is essential, as never before, that their gross ignorance of one another should be diminished, that they should begin to understand a little of one another's historical experience and resulting mentality. It is the fault of the English to expect the people of other countries to react as they do to political and international situations. Our genuine goodwill and good intentions are often brought to nothing because we expect other people to be like us. This would be corrected if we knew the history, not necessarily in detail, but in broad outlines of the social and political conditions which have given to each nation its present character. So, <clears throat> the first question that we have to answer is, the character of a nation is the result of its A. Gross ignorance, B. Cultural heritage, C. Socio-political conditions, and D. Mentality. So, how do we find out the answer to this question? By reading the passage, of course, but where in the passage can we understand and find out the answer to this question? Let's look at the last sentence. This would be corrected if we knew the history, not necessarily in detail, but in broad outlines of the social and political conditions which have given to each nation its present character. So over here you can see social and political conditions have given each nation its present character. So therefore, the correct option among the following is option C, which is socio-political conditions. So socio-political is the same thing as social and political. So therefore, option C is the correct option for this question asked in 2017. Now, the next question from the passage. According to the author, the mentality of a nation is mainly the product of its a present character, b international position, c politics, d history. So we can look at this question from two parts of this passage. One is from the last part. This would be corrected if we knew the history. So as you can see, history is being emphasized in trying to understand each nation's character. But another part of the sentence, uh, another part of this passage, that is the first sentence, gives us even greater detail. At the stage of civilization, when many nations are brought into close and vital contact for good and evil, it is essential, as never before, that their gross ignorance of one another should be diminished, that they should begin to understand a little of one another's historical experience and resulting mentality. So, as you can see, the resulting mentality comes from a country's historical experience. So therefore, option D, history, is the correct option for this question, which was asked in 2017. Now, let's look at the third question for this passage. The need for a greater understanding between nations. A is more today than ever before. B was always there. C is no longer there. D will always be there. Again, this is found in the first sentence. 
at this stage of civilization, when many nations are brought into close and vital contact for good and evil, it is essential as never before that their gross ignorance of one another should be diminished and they should begin to understand a little of another's historical experience. So as you can see the phrase it is essential as never before means that the need for a greater understanding is more required. It's it's even great it's greatly required today than the understanding we had before. So therefore option A is more today than ever before will be the correct option. Now let's look at question four. In the question below, a sentence is given, a part of which is printed in bold and underlined. This part may contain a grammatical error. Each sentence is followed by phrases A, B, C, D. Find out which phrase should replace the phrase given in the bold or underlined text to correct the error, if there is any to make the sentence grammatically meaningful and correct. So the sentence here is, there are a number there are a number of skilled writers who can develop content and create marketing materials with a keen eye to proving to using proven methods but also to developing new and innovative techniques so in this particular part of the sentence with a keen eye to using proven materials but also to developing new and innovative techniques there is very little connection between both the ideas that are described in this phrase and also the tense that we use is present continuous which also is not corresponding with the verb so therefore we should be tr trying to correct this sentence this phrase so we have four options with a keen eye to use proven materials but also to develop new and innovative techniques with a keen eye for use proven methods but also and also to develop new and innovative techniques with a keen eye not only to use proven methods but also to develop new and innovative techniques with a keen eye to use proven methods but also but to develop new and innovative techniques so <clears throat> in this particular phrase we're saying that the skilled writers who can develop content have a keen eye for using proven materials and they also develop new and innovative techniques. So we need to find out which of these phrases captures that clearly. So in statement in phrase A it says with a keen eye to use proven methods but also to develop new and innovative techniques. So as you can see developing new and innovative techniques is given primary importance whereas we should be aiming for a sentence that gives both e both these you know roles equal importance so therefore option a is incorrect and also another the reason why this is incorrect is because of the conjunction but also this is used with the this is used with the other conjunction that is not only those two are correlative conjunctions now in option b it's saying with a keen eye for use proven material proven methods which is incorrect because the preposition here that we should use is to. So therefore option B is incorrect. And also and it says and also to develop. So again it it does connect better than the previous version, but because of the use of four instead of two, this quest this statement is incorrect. Now in option D, we have a similar problem as option A. It says with a keen eye to use proven, met proven methods, but to develop new and innovative techniques. So again, it's, it's saying that they aren't pretty keen in using proven methods. They are more independent at developing, they're, more, they're better at developing new and innovative techniques. So here we're comparing content writers that can do both. So therefore option D is incorrect. The correct answer is option C with a keen eye not only to use proven methods but also to develop new and innovative techniques. Not only and but also these are correlative conjunctions and they connect the, the ideas 
the two or more ideas which can be done equally well. So there are a number of skilled writers who can develop content and creative create marketing materials with a keen eye not only to using proven methods but also to developing new and innovative techniques. So therefore option C is the correct option. Now we have the final question of this episode. Choose the best pronunciation of the word S-O-R-B-E-T from the following options. Is it sorbet, sorbet, sorb rhymes with orb, or shorbet? So the word S-O-R-B-E-T refers to a type of dessert which usually consists of ice cream that is pretty good for digestive purposes. So that's what we call S-O-R-B-E-T. The word S-O-R-B-E-T refers to this meaning. And this word, when you look at the international phonetic alphabet, it is written like this. It is written with two syllables and the second syllable is stressed. Now, if you want to learn more about the International Phonetic Alphabet, syllables and accents, etc., don't forget to visit our video regarding those, regarding the IPA and regarding syllables and accents. We can, I'll put the playlist for that below the video. So if you want to check that out and learn more about the IPA and how to speak English well in general, then don't forget to click that link as well. Now, moving on. So the first part is S and then O with a dot and R. So this part reads sore or in the English, if you were to pronounce it in the British way, it's sore. And then the second syllable is bay, as in how you pronounce the bay of Bengal. So therefore, if you were to break up the pronunciation into meaningful words, then the pronunciation of the word S-O-R-B-E-T will be sorbet. So that means option B, sorbet, is the correct pronunciation of S-O-R-B-E-T. So sorbet is the type of dessert, basically ice cream, which have digestive properties. And, and we pronounce it using the International Phonetic Alphabet as sorbet. Sorbet is incorrect because the second syllable is made is in error here and shorbet is incorrect because the first syllable is pronounced incorrectly and sorb rhymes with orb again that's not how you pronounce the word sorbet. So that concludes this episode of VIT Triple E questions with solution. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel that is Brain Blitz Audios. We have a whole playlist catering to VIT Triple E preparation materials. So if you want to access those, please click the link in the description box down below. And also, if you want to learn more about the IPA and other aspects of how to improve your English, then you can click the video playlist for that below the video. And also, if you want to get updates regarding our latest content, then don't forget to hit the bell icon, the notifications button that is present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.